I'm Alexa Joy, host of Uncensored, and on this season, we are on the set of The Porter. Here we go, roll sound. Start the train, please. Parker. Action, please. My name is Charles Officer. That was excellent. Let's cut. Uh, cut but I wanted to know what really attracted you to The Porter, and why was this project so important for you to be a part of? Because the you know the broadcasters often have not seen the relevance of our stories, mm. and um, and the idea of audience and who the audience is, mm. and um, and it's taken time to to um, realize, and it's taken some tragedies to realize, unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, the the importance of our stories. I just want them to write it in there. But I think, um, and you you've touched on it. Like uh, twenty twenty was a year that I unfortunately has pulled the veil back on anti-blackness in mm. many ways, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I'm skeptical, being a former like activist myself, I'm not convinced that things would have changed unless we were in the era of BLM and George Floyd. Yes. For real. So with that being said, and given the times that we're in now, why do you think this story uh, first of all, needs to be told now, but, mm. you know, do you think it should have been told like 10 years ago when the, it was first pitched to you? Um, this one of the reasons why I do this is because it's been missing. I, I haven't seen myself reflected. And now that, um, now that some sort of crack has happened, uh, I am also too, um, we're in the early stages of this 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 change mm -hmm. or this movement or yeah. whatever we how we want to label it and keeping it intentionally predominantly black as well absolutely on the creative and you know uh, crew side absolutely all right here we go lock it up in action please but take a closer look at all we have to offer and i'm sure you'll agree we are heaven sent so what do you think the biggest difference is working in a predominantly black writer's room and how do you think all your work is going to impact and shift the narrative of the production, as opposed to if it wasn't a predominantly black uh, writer's room. I found myself um, sharing stories that I think I might not have otherwise, or recalling things that I might not have otherwise. Okay. And I don't think I ever realized in the other rooms that I was in that I was holding back. I was in great writer's room with lots of writers that I, you know, love and respect, but for some reason, just being in that, I think there was a part of me that kind of unlocked a little bit, knowing that you were going to share something personal or, or painful or something that would set you apart, except you would be in the company of other people who maybe would understand. And cut. Let's do that one more time. Hey, okay, great. My name is Amel Amin. How's that been for you, participating in this production? I don't know if you've been in predominantly black <laughs> uh, creative spaces before. I grew up in a stage school where it was predominantly white people and right. as an actor I predominantly worked on uh, cast and crews where you know I am one of the only. Exactly. You know, so you know I'm quite ambidextrous in that way I can go between. What's joyous about that is that there's specifically Canadian black people as a black British person because they're so close to Caribbean culture mm -hmm. There's a nice, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a comfort in not be having to explain certain things mm. that they just know. So they know that song, or they yeah. know this vibe, or they yeah. know why, what a Jamaican man in the 1920s, they know what their grandfathers or their great grandfathers mm. and grandmothers would be like. So there's nuances that that make it quicker, you know. Rolling. So what has that been for you, just being a part of this production, like in a predominantly black Canadian environment? Honestly, it's been such a relief. Mm. The way that we all connect and the kind of community we've created on this set yeah. is incredible. And I think that's it can only happen because we all know what this means mm -hmm. and we all know how rare it is to be able to do something like this, especially in a place like Manitoba. It's a shared experience, uh, a shared lived experience uh, that you know people have gone through. <laughs> and there's also a comfort level. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, I've been on many sets before. You go in hair and makeup. But never have I been in hair and makeup where I've met someone who was from 
the same island as my dad was. Mm. And it just opens up these different conversations and you get a closer bond. At this point in your career, what does it mean working on The Porter? Why now? Why, why this project? For a lot of people, this is an un, unheard part of Canadian history, North American history. Mm -hmm. This community of, of black folk really, um, you know, banded together. Train workers, uh, community nurses, mm -hmm. activists banded together and were inspired by each other and really tried to strive for the things that they deserved. Mm. Um, even though they were part of a society that was essentially telling them, you know, on one hand, okay, you're part of society, but on the other hand, you're, uh, you're beneath us, mm -hmm. you know? And these people knew that they deserved more. Yeah. And they, they came together and fought for it. The Porter is a beautiful, beautiful story of that struggle and quite frankly of black ambition mm. at a time where they were being told they weren't allowed to be participating in society in, in, a, in a full way, they refused to. They refused to accept that narrative and they tried to create their own narrative. Let's go for that. How, how much time do we have? What drew me to the role was the history and um, how it was going to help um, educate and increase people's knowledge with regards to how important um, the the black culture was in history period, not right. just black history. So it was that, it was the writing, it was the people that were attached to it. So right. uh, a, lot of, a lot of things. Now. All right, pictures up everybody, stand by. Thanks for your patience. Thanks, what do you think this project, this production is gonna to mean to both Canadian and American viewers? Um, again, just a, a glimpse at history that they're, they, probably didn't even know yeah. happened and, and how in, important and integral it is with regards to industrial unionization and, and growth on a whole. So uh, just education and, and, and knowledge yeah. more than anything. They're going to learn today. Uh, you, <laughs> you said it, I didn't. <laughs>